Hey guys, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to the Runaway Team Challenge. So we're going to be starting off this part by giving the twins makeovers and also updating Lyle and Elspeth's looks because it is currently winter slash hoodie season in Bridgeport. I'm going to speed this up and I hope you guys enjoy. So I also wanted to include a speed build portion in this video just to kind of update our house because 
Thankfully, we finally have a little bit more funds because Elio has been stealing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Now, we did also still run out of money, so the only thing that I was able to add on was a nursery and kind of update to where they had a good bedroom and just more space in the house in general. This is just kind of temporary until I can finally afford to move them into their own house when they are young adults. If you guys would like to skip over this, you can always hop over to the gameplay section in the chapters. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this speed build. So I hope you enjoyed the creative sim and speed build, but now let's get into some gameplay. So in this part, I want Lyle to reach out to his father. Yes, you heard me right. Our father is currently missing in action and Lil Bling is up in that house, which I was like, what? <laughs> and our father is remarried. Like, I know that we did cut our father out of our life, but we are getting closer to graduation in spring, even though winter just started. I know. But time is flying, and I feel like Lyle can be indecisive, or maybe that's just me, but we should maybe attempt to just check on him because he is still our father, enemy or not, and that is something that I will stand by. Alright guys, so let's quickly talk about just how cute these two are. Like, Elspeth, she was just made for motherhood just by looking at her. Like, you can tell that she really just wants to be there for her babies and how, just how much she loves them. Look at Janelle, and just how much she looks like her... She is a split image of her father, <laughs> that is what I will say. And then oh, Alfred is completely his mom. Like the red hair and everything, oh, it just fits so well. <laughs> yeah, they're all just kind of um, spending some time together. We're about to um, take everyone inside though because I just renovated this house. So I don't want to see y'all putting these babies on the floor. Don't get me started on that nanny though. I ain't, I ain't messing with that nanny anymore. Let me actually check. Do we actually have a relationship with her? See, there she is, Layla. We got a bone to pick with her. Um, yeah, we got a bone to pick with her because I know you ain't trying to mess with my... <laughs> oh, look at them. He's such a good father. Anyway, all right, at least he's bringing them into the house. Something else that I do want to mention is I definitely plan on um, having us get another cat in this part. I was going to adopt a cat, but I feel like it always wants to bug a little bit whenever I try to adopt a cat. So I'll probably just make us another cat. I just feel so bad for mittens because I feel like I don't purposely neglect animals and stuff, but I feel like my sims always get really busy and they don't really always have the time to necessarily give attention to the animals. So I feel like getting another cat will definitely help out mittens. All right, let's have you all take care of your needs and stuff. Yeah, you need to put him down and run to the bathroom because your bladder is about to explode. Um, let's clean out this bad food. I was supposed to do it in the last part, but... <laughs> We um, had a little bit of a uh, fire, so <laughs> that was something else. <laughs> I love Elspeth's new look. It, it, it gives mom <laughs> the um, messy bun and everything, so. Ooh, the trash can about to get full. That trash can is so small. Them seagulls can head somewhere. I don't, it's every part. <laughs> They'd be screaming their heads off. Anyway, I want him to go ahead and buy. And I was having a worse relationship with Lil Bling than our own father. Let's send him a friendly text because I definitely feel like, although we really kind of cut things off with him, um, we're not able to find our father at the moment he's still MIA. I feel like 
while being the person that he is, he still worries about his father just from the drinking problem. You know, we've seen him pretty much at every bar around Bridgeport at this point. But um, I feel like it's definitely something that, you know, he definitely wants to kind of go over with him and kind of, he just wants to make sure his father's okay. So I do want to quickly have us maybe try to find him wherever he's at. The Logan Nash household. Oh, is this where they're staying? Because hold on, let me quickly relook at this family tree. Clint. Okay, so he's married to Moxie Logan Nash. Okay. So we definitely need to, um, this is a private residence. Please use the, why not you living at this private residence, making us have to ring the bell and everything? I mean, I guess. I guess we can come ring the bell. <laughs> okay, so Elspeth is just currently eating something. Ooh, let's have you use the bathroom. Ooh, and clean it on up a little bit because this house is trifling. <laughs> All right, and then let's have her do her homework. Let's actually check on her grade. Oh, so she now has a D, so that's good because she was at an F. I'm really trying to get her to school as much as we can um, because that is stressful. Okay. Ooh, I can't wait for you to become a young adult so that way you don't have to bike everywhere because, y'all, this biking, it'd be taking forever. I wish I had like a mod or something that would speed that up. <laughs> but yeah, I just love everyone's new look. I feel like it definitely fits um, the winter season and everything. So, well, usually once we get across this bridge, I, I just love this bridge so much, y'all. It's just, ugh, it's vibey. <laughs> Yeah, she's kind of working on her homework a little bit. So I really hope y'all are home because I ain't trying to mess with this hide and seek stuff that we had to play with little bling earlier. Let's go ahead and ring the bell. Ooh, teach to walk, aw. That was a close one. The whole household almost came to blows over Lyle's mood swing. That's good, I'm glad y'all. Not the nobody is home. Y'all just hit me with the nobody is home. Y'all just hit me with that, didn't you? <laughs> All right, so now they are here. <laughs> After I did a little bit of cheating but um ooh, please does not you reacting to us like that sorry that we're such an inconvenience we're worried about you <laughs> let's agree moxie he didn't say a dang thing all right so this is our stepmother all right um yeah <laughs> let me be shady like that okay let's see how she reacts to us Oh, it's Lyle Baldwin. It's a pleasure to meet someone who is famous like me. Well, you're kind of meeting your stepson. Hello. Lyle is celebrity enough. Okay. They can all socialize with each other. That's awesome. Yeah, let's kind of get to know her a little bit because she is our stepmom. So hopefully, as much as Lyle and Clint kind of bump heads, maybe having someone like a stepmother because we really haven't had a mother in our life since she died at childbirth. Let's kind of like get, just kind of get to know her a little bit. Maybe she can kind of help break the barrier between clint and lyle that'd be kind of something that i'd love to see you know let's just kind of like get to know her a little bit because i highly doubt yeah she's she's 25 years older than us okay because i highly doubt she'll you know kind of shut us out since she does, doesn't really know that much about us at all anyway she is employed in the professional athletics all right athletic career she is giving muscle all right we'd love to see it she is straight all right Finally, Elspeth. Everyone was in a bad mood. That's all I'm saying. She is a Gemini. <laughs> Not that I'm saying those times are compatible. We ain't trying to flip with her. That'd be something else. Look at him. He just built a hole behind Snowman. I don't know. I mean, at least he didn't have a horrible reaction with us at this time. But he's thinking about us. And he's he has a little bit of a smirk on, on his face. I don't know. Oh, bye. Not me asking who she was in a relationship with. We already knew that. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe we can kind of compliment her compliment her home i almost wonder if this is her home yeah let's kind of get to know her a little bit more let's ask her if we can go inside she shouldn't mind now because she is our stepmother first you are our stepmother all right it looks like she's gonna let us in oh i never thought like this moment would come where we're finally kind of walking in and we can kind of chat it on up with our father this is interesting you guys where he at okay he was kind of in the middle of dinner did he make a full on yeah we're hungry too let's let's come on up and let's chop it on up Maybe we can kind of talk to him about um, his grandbabies because he does have grandbabies. Maybe we can kind of get him to open a little bit. It doesn't seem like they're going to say anything about us eating, so that's good. Definitely Moxie wouldn't say anything. First off, what is that? What? <laughs> I'm gone, y'all. I can't... <laughs> I can't take him literally when he's dressed like that. No, hold on. <laughs> Baby steps. Now let's get him used to seeing us again before we... <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. 
Oh, I thought it said he was heading to work. No, it says he is, but y'all look at him walk. Is he gonna walk for us again? There you go. <laughs> that was just the humor that we needed for today. <laughs> see, she's chopping it up with us. You see the game? I was there. It was awesome. Did you like it? What you talking about? Entertain me. That's what... <laughs> the way she just stood up like that and then sat back down. Oh, our curfew. Shoot. Ooh, uh, she taught Janelle how to walk and I missed it. Oh, y'all look at them. Look at them. That was fast. Oh my goodness. This is a stray dog. Y'all. <laughs> uh, let's, let's invite it inside. If it lets us talk to it. Them strays, they be, they be weird in my game. That would be letting me want to talk to them. All right, Lyle, just come home. Just come home. <laughs> oh, can we talk to you? Where did you go? Y'all, my strays be, does anyone else have this issue where like strays will pop up on their house and then just flat out disappear like that? Goodness, anyway. <laughs> All right, she's gonna go ahead and put her back to sleep. So that's good. Where are you going? You about to be in the water. Watch out. <laughs> okay. Let me have you stalk for prey. Oh, Lyle is red. He is miserable. That is not good. Let me actually um, help you out a little bit and just teleport you home because that curfew. And on top of that. Oh, he's still feeling seamed. Out after curfew. Oh, he's just kind of going through it. You know what? I'm just going to be nice and let him go to sleep. I'm just going to let him go to sleep um oh she, she she loves her daughter i love that for her i love that for her but i do also still want to talk about um she wants to become friends with Lil bling so something about elspeth is i definitely feel like she tries to always see the good in people like i know she kind of went through her like really like bad girl vibes she's kind of on the run with us kind of helping us you know be a part of mischief and stuff like that but when you really take the time to consider everything that she went through it made sense but deep down, you can tell that she's one of those you know, people that, you know, always, you know, wants to see the good in people, wants to do well in school. She's just one of those types of people. So I feel like this could potentially cause some drama if she becomes friends with Little Bling again. But they were at one point together and now they're just kind of distant friends. And I feel like she might actually want to just kind of reach out to him, send him a couple friendly texts just to make sure he's doing OK. Because to be fair, he is drama. He is not necessarily the best person but at the same time it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be the way that it is but she is currently going behind lyle's back <laughs> so to be fair we don't know, necessarily know how he's going to react to that but i highly doubt he's going to be 100 percent okay with it but we'll definitely have to see okay so she's going to send him a few little messages y'all look at little alfred look at little alfred <laughs> in his little jammies what was that did y'all see that i don't was that a uh gnome the magic gnomes, they be turn my game up. Ooh, what is Mittens getting? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let her, I was gonna say let her go to sleep. Is her energy like glitched or something? Because I swear she never has to go to sleep. I mean, I don't mind, but <laughs> we're gonna let her get a little bit of sleep anyway. I will pick back up in the morning. All right, so it is actually still really early. Alfred woke up bawling his eyes out because you know, he's kind of dirty and everything. So he definitely wanted a bath and you know, Elspeth, as she has her non-existent and draining energy so um it definitely made sense that she'd go ahead and get on up and um take care of him a little bit what do his needs look like okay so he does need a bottle and stuff um i do i should get a high chair <laughs> i should honestly get oh not with that four simoleons though never mind y'all we aren't getting a chair <laughs> let's go ahead and have her kind of snuggle him and give him a bottle at least she slept through that because he was screaming his head off okay so you can go ahead and give him a bottle. Um, let's have her go ahead and take care of a little bit of her needs too. Uh, maybe we can go ahead and have her, um, oh, we can't afford to do anything. That is crazy. Ooh, you know what's gonna suffer really bad if we have bills? Bye, because we did. Is there anything in anyone's inventory that I can sell? Mittens, not you getting startled like that. Ooh, you have something. You have a turtle. Mittens, I need you to come through. Oh, she's about to wake up and be hungry. Oh, look at him crawling. You know, we need to get, we need to put an end to that. <laughs> Let's have her teach him how to walk. Let's kind of have them get some of the similar things done at the same time. Like teaching them both how to walk, teaching them both how to potty, teaching them how to talk at the same time. Oh, look at them. 
I love this so much. I love this interaction. I love how they just kind of like, you know, kind of help them get up. Sometimes they kind of stumble a little bit, fall back on their behind, but <laughs> all right. Oh, he's learning so fast. Ooh, I got this mod that makes this go up faster. I need to remove it because, I <laughs> or at least make one that makes it go a little bit slower because it kind of goes a little too fast. I feel like that's less realistic, but yeah, go use your litter box and then stock for some more prey. Oh, that's social. I need to get, I need to have us get that cat. <laughs> He's getting really close already. All right. Yeah, you're going to sleep in a little bit longer. That's all right. Oh, he's so close. You want a pillow fight? Oh, and now she probably wants a bottle. Yeah, go ahead. Please. It's her. <laughs> because what are you holding yourself up with? That's what happens when you download TC Cribs. <laughs> the way that she's glitching out of it and everything. I love these cribs, but darn. That type of glitch. Mm-mm. All right. Go and get rid of the bottle. You need to eat something as well. Did you find anything else yet, Mittens? You're helping us make the bank. Seven simoleons. Not the leaf. Um, ooh, a stag mule. Uncommon. Mittens stay coming through. Okay, so first things first. Let's pay the bills <laughs> and then now we should be able to make some food let's serve some waffles so because you know this is still a part of the challenge we're still struggling we still need to find more terms of way to make money maybe have them do some more commissioning maybe have them go back to the junkyard and we do some more fishing because we do have a bit of a fishing skill yeah we're level two fishing um we actually can't fish right now i'm lying i say lying in this <laughs> let's play but um before we end off this part i do want us to try again all right, here they are. Cool. Um, and we're going to make this snappy because this waiting and all this riding our bike around like that is unrealistic. So, <laughs> no, it's realistic, but it takes too much time. So let's go ahead and ring this bell. Gate should be open. Come on in. Oh, uh, look at our stepmama out here. You know, maybe this could be something good for Lyle. Um, it might give him a different point of view on life if he, he has a mother figure. She lets us ride on in, but what are you wearing? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Not another snow day. You can keep your mouth shut. That's all I'm going to say at this point. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, we need to actually um, chop it on up with her. So we can come actually into the house and everything. Oh, where are we going? He's going to go get into the hot tub. Okay, Lyle, I see you. You still... <laughs> Bye, because you're still heading to work. Bye, let's ask you to join. Maybe he'll actually join us. What are you wearing? Why are you wearing your full outfit into the hot? I ain't questioning it. I ain't questioning it. I'm just gonna. Oh, he having a good time. Okay. Oh, he really did come. So y'all are getting in fully clothed. Okay. And you got in in that. No, I can't. Y'all, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. You seem kind of glitched out, actually. Basic outfits. Every day. Okay, yeah, you seem very glitched out talking about some I'm heading to work. Why are you still heading to work? I don't know, y'all. He, he must be having some weird type of glitch going on. But we up in this hot tub. We have ourselves a stepmom now. So, I mean, I guess you take the good with the bad. See, she over here being a gamer, probably playing some Sims herself. <laughs> Let's have him actually just head on home then because I don't know what's up with Clint, but... He kind of going through some stuff, heading to work in that outfit. <laughs> All right. Ooh, let's put these in the um, fridge before it spoils. I'm going to go ahead and end off this video right here. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to leave you all on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Can you guess what's in the box? I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.